ball, flat ball, flat ball, flat ball. Move the arms from here, lift the chin, and half flat ball. Okay, this gives your dance direction. Flat ball, flat ball, flat ball, flat ball. Prep, turn, lift. And that arm is coming boom, boom. Okay? On the little quick ball changes, one, two, da 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 da. Back two, da 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 da. And one, two, prep, turn, lift, down. One, two, da 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 da. Back two, da 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 da. Ball change, ball change, prep, lift both arms and down. When I lift, I turn my body to the side. This is a good photo op. It prevents you from looking square ahead at the camera. So you want to get directional changes not only with the feet, but with the body. So the first two, we're going to go from side to side with this. Da 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 Ball change, ball change, prep, turn, lift, and down. And the second or third set, we will move forward and back with it. That gives you directional change. You're basically doing the same step, but you're going in different directions with it to add interest to the dance. It keeps the audience on guard. They don't know where you're going to move next. And this is what makes your dance exciting as opposed to predictable. 